This is Fox 5 Local News at 5. Well, some help tonight for families living with a disease that many never wanted to even talk about. Huntington's is a genetic disease that robs people of their bodies and their minds. Fox 5's Beth Parker introduces us to a new pilot program here in D.C. that's helping the very youngest victims. Brian Schmidt adores his two-year-old niece, Teresa. It's the apple of my eye. I absolutely love her. Brian is wise beyond his years, and he tells people all the time to... Really cherish the time with their loved ones, because you never know when they're going to be gone. I've been very fortunate to learn that at a young age. It takes most people until they're 50 or 60 to learn that. His dad got to meet little Teresa, his granddaughter, but he died this past April of Huntington's disease. The easiest way to explain it is Alzheimer's and Parkinson's mixed together. It's a devastating illness. He couldn't drive anymore. He couldn't walk. He couldn't, you know, he uh, couldn't feed himself for a while. Now, as Brian knows all too well, if you have a parent with Huntington's disease, you have a 50% chance of having the disease yourself. It hits people in the prime of life, usually between age 30 to 50. Um, often they've already had their children when they find out they have the condition. They may have passed it on already, so it's a very difficult illness. MedStar Georgetown Hospital is partnering with a group called HDO, Huntington's Disease Youth Organization. It's a pilot program designed to educate and reduce the stigma surrounding the disease. What's really important is making sure that young people feel like they have a space that they can go to, somebody that they can call, um, a place where they can get information that's accurate but also age appropriate. There are a lot of clinical trials right now, a lot of medication studies going on, so there's a lot of hope that we'll have great treatments for Huntington's in the next few years. And it's really important for young people to learn about these trials, to sign up for them if they're eligible. Brian has not been tested to see if he too will suffer from Huntington's. At first, I didn't want to get tested, and then I changed my mind. Brian wants to educate others and get tested himself. He wants to know what his future holds. In Washington, Beth Parker, Fox 5 Local News. Oh, what a lesson there. Heartbreaking disease. Heartbreaking. Right. Now to an incredible.